Today, we're gonna to talk about the new black agenda. And this is gonna dovetail off of my last video, the new black man. It is starting to build concentration. We're starting to get more people moving into this ranks. I want you to go back to Kenneth Chenault, who used to be the black CEO of American Express. And this is kind of from the Cosby era. During the time the Cosby show was on television, we had the Cosby show, we had rock, we had living signal, we had, um, the, the college show, we, we had many black themed shows that showed black folks doing outstanding, decent and great things. And then that just dropped off. But now that energy is starting to come back. We're starting to see people, black folks, starting to make these moves and they're starting to get energy and power. And it's a corporate move. The new black agenda isn't based upon reparations. I know that many people have thoughts about this and many arguments and we need reparations. The new black agenda does not include reparations. The new black agenda is going off the Jewish blueprint, the Asian blueprint of becoming inclusive, valuable members of society. Because this is one of the things I'm trying to do with the corporate toolbox. If you didn't know, my agenda is to create 50,000 corporate citizens. These are people who have holding companies and operating companies and making money and living that corporate citizen lifestyle. Because the corporate citizen, corporate toolbox dovetails very well with the new black agenda. Agenda. Each day, new progressive black folks wake up and they begin to contribute to America. Let me say this again, and this is not to be offensive, but you're not African-American. You are 100% American. If you go to Africa, you would be considered an American. You would not be considered an African. You know, many years ago, I never moved to African-American because I'm an American citizen. And this isn't to ignore the tragic, sad state of affairs of how black people got to America, but I'm an American and my birthright is an American birthright. And I'm going to take all of the milk, honey, and tea out of America that I can get because that is my legacy. Many new way new agenda black folks are waking up to this they're realizing that we don't have to be living that despondent life the new black agenda is about getting money and this is one of the things because one of the things that you hear from the old school black politic is don't buy into the culture that bought and sold you it was talking about do not participate in capitalism. And let's go ahead and keep it honest. Capitalism was the reason for the slave trade. They went to Africa, they got our ancestors, they brought them over here and they used them to work for free. That is what it is. And capitalism by itself isn't bad, but there have been many people that have used capitalism for bad purposes and bad situations. The new black agenda takes all that into consideration. The new black agenda is like, okay, this happened 400 years ago and in the sixties, we had to fight for our civil rights, but this is where we are today. The new black agenda is not about adopting a hood or hip hop lifestyle. The black agenda ignores that and doesn't participate in that because as I talked about, my video, The New Black Man, that they've noticed something. There are some black folks who believe all white people are racist. It's just simply not true. Are there racist white people? Absolutely. And I have run into a few of them. Notably, I can remember two instances where I ran into racist white people, two that really stand out and also a racist comment or something that was racial when I was working in business environments and I walked into a sales meeting and then Ken Scott said that Jim was a owner, very racist. And you know, they saw me and it was like, oh, ho, 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 because they were being racist. And these things happen, but the new black agenda realizes that doesn't stop you from making money. That doesn't stop you from becoming a corporate citizen. That doesn't stop you from getting the milk, tea, and honey out of America. You have to become an inclusive participant in the American process. And this is what the new black agenda is about because, you know, we've got many, many channels here on YouTube and some of the larger YouTube channels, which is a symptom of the dominant black culture, deal with relationship. You know, you got Kevin Samuels, you got Steph is Cold, AMS, Coach Greg, the, you know, relationships. 
and the new black agenda realizes that most of their energy should go into building versus relationships. And this is one of the things that you, because you, you got to sit down and ask yourself, how much time and energy do you put into becoming a producer? And how much time and energy do you put into chasing tail? And if you just to sit down and create a spreadsheet and was to acknowledge that you spent a lot of time chasing tail. See, members of the new black agenda, they typically going to find a mate. They're going to have a husband and wife, and then they're going to have that companionship, that relationship. But the majority of their time outside of that will be about building. Because one of the things you've got to understand, because, you know, I'm doing a lot of consults and so many people are trying to juggle and build a business. And here's the simple truth for the beginning part of the business, you're going to be working. There is no work life balance and members of the new black agenda realize this and the sooner that you start this process is the sooner that you can have a quote work balanced life give you an example a friend of mine he started an import export company uh, about 20 years ago in the first 10 years he was busy he was busy and he actually married this Asian woman who came from a family of entrepreneurs. So this Asian woman understood his blueprint, understood his trajectory, and she did never, she never put any pressure on him. Like you need to spend more time at home. She never did that. Now they're at the point where they are multimillionaires. They're at the point where they can come and do as they please. And typically whenever I call him, he's at home chilling with his wife and children. But, but see, he built that thing. He built that participatory, that participation in the American dream. Because see, th this is one of the things that really messes up so many people is they don't want to participate in the American process. There is this thought that, you know, there's the standard and many people want the standard. Well, actually not the standard. They want the benefits of the standard to come down to them. I have a video here on YouTube talking about one of my consulting clients who had bad credit and got a $100,000 visa from Chase Bank. And what Chase Bank did was they went off of his inventory of his transactions. And they look at that he was, his company was putting millions and millions of dollars running it through their banks. And they're like, hey, we want a little bit more money from you. So what we're gonna do is give you this financial product and hope you use it so you can start making us more money. And I had many, many people who were upset. Look, man, I'm looking for something for the average man. And with little regard to the situation and understanding the process, cause see the members of the new black agenda understand that they have to meet the standard. They understand that the standard isn't going to come down to them and they're fully engaged, fully prepared to meet and in many cases exceed the standard. And this is why the new black agenda is a progressive agenda based upon hard work and effort. I had some people who were upset because there was like, you know, all this stuff you've been talking about, about pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. There are so many people who want to cheat the process, cheat the system, cheat the whole deal. They don't want to participate. And you know, if you become a member of my corporate toolbox, you're going to have to work. You're going to have to spend money. You're going to have to get into the game because you, if you got to play the corporate game in America to set yourself apart and to set your family up, essentially what we're going to do in the corporate toolbox. And my goal is to create 50,000 new corporate citizens in the next five years, that block of new corporate citizens is going to touch millions of people. It's going to touch families. It's going to touch employees. It's going to touch vendors. It's going to touch the tax base. It is going to create a tremendous amount of money. And also with the new corporate, the new black agenda in the corporate toolbox, I've seen this happen. Jewish people. I was in the military with my roommate, Derek shop, who was Jewish. And we used to chop it up and he used to tell me, we're going to become your doctors. We're going to become your toys. You may not like us, but you're going to need us. And that's the blueprint. I remember at a time when Asians were not considered to be cool. There were many derogatory names for Asian people, chink, slant eye. Now Asians have moved up to a level that 
they're, they're above Jewish people in prosperity. And with this prosperity has come American acceptance. If you see a young Asian in a Ferrari, no one blinks twice. No one even thinks that there's something going on. Yet when you see a young black man in the Ferrari, you're like, he must be a rapper. He must be a ball player. But you can have an ordinary vanilla white Asian kid in a Ferrari. No one thinks twice about it. Nothing has to be explained. And this is what happens when you become a corporate citizen. One of the things, and I have the good fortune to live in Atlanta, where white people are accustomed to seeing black people with money. They're used to it. It's normal. It is not unusual to see a young black man in a Mercedes or a Rolls Royce. They're used to it. And I want to expand that concept to all of America, where if you become a corporate citizen and adopt a new black agenda, that when you're out living your life, doing your thing, no one really notices you. They're like, oh, he has a nice car. That's the beginning and end of the thought process. Not, oh, he must be a drug dealer. Oh, he must be up to something unsavory. The Jews did it, the Asians did it, and we as black folks can do the same thing. It's just a matter of rolling up our sleeves and becoming participants in the American process and building businesses and creating usefulness. Now, I'm about to go a little left with this, but see, this is something the MGTOW and Red Pill community has a huge problem with this. If you are a man that is useful, your dating opportunities expand exponentially. You're useful, you're handy, you get things done, you bring something to the table. And this is something which is at odds for MGTOW and Red Pill philosophy because there's many thoughts out here that you are, quote, the prize. I'm here to tell you something. As long as women have the peace leave, AKA Coach Greg Adams, most men are gonna behave in a simping type behavior. Not all men, not men, not the new black man, not members of the new black agenda, because they have literally taken poontang off of the table. I was in a relationship with a chick who wanted to have sex during the middle of the day when I was busy. And I would not have sex with her because I took the poo tang off the table and I focused on my business. And this is one of the big issues that so many people have a problem with, that so many people don't understand that you have got to be progressive, attentive, and focused. You've got to be really focused on your business. You've got to be focused on your success. You have to be focused on your growth. And this is one of the big, big things that separates people in the new black agenda from regular folks. Regular folks will succumb to their carnal nature. Members of the new black agenda, they don't get down like that. New black members of the black agenda are elevated beings. They're gods on this earth because they understand the power of being useful, bringing something to the table, creating something and building and being a positive member of society. This is the new black agenda. So I want you to join me with the new black agenda. I want you to go below, get the corporate toolbox where we're going to talk about how to start, scale, start, structure and scale your business. We're going to be talking about marketing, branding. We're going to be talking about your corporate structure, how to play the tax game, and so much more. Because like I said, it is my intention to create 50,000 new corporate citizens in the next five years. So let's begin and let's adopt this new black agenda and let's get rocking and rolling because I'm here to tell you the benefits are amazing. That's all I have for you today. This is Glendon Cameron, your host of Hustlers Kung Fu and I'll see you in this next video.